Hi everybody, it's Amy. Thanks for joining me tonight. I have a quick video I wanted to share with everybody. First of all, do you ever have an evening or a day where you just can't get a video taped? I'm having one of those nights. I taped this video three times. I had beautiful gifts I wanted to share with everybody from some wonderful ladies out there and I was editing it and when I went to play it the words got all jumbled up and it was like the video audio was playing twice I'm not sure what happened but I could hear me talking but parts of the conversation were coming through the current conversation so I don't know what the heck was going on but because I thought I had it right I put everything away so I don't have the gifts to share but I do have the beautiful cards and I just want to give a big heart filled full thanks to these ladies because I am so honored to be able to call you guys friends and um, thank you so very very much um, the first one I received was from Tamika and Tamika is at scrap the world and Tamika sent me some very very nice goodies she sent me my first seven gypsy papers so thank you so much Tamika I absolutely love them I mean I love them um, I'll be buying more of those. I really like those. Thank you so much for sharing your stash with me. I really, really appreciate it. Truly. The second gift I got was super, super nice goodies from Dara. And Dara Lynn's YouTube name is Dara Lynn D. And Dara Lynn, this card is so pretty. And pink and black are my favorite colors. So... And I love that little heart button charm. I love it. And um, for those of you who don't know Dara, Dara is one of the sweetest ladies on YouTube. She is, she not only supports me almost with commenting on every video, she, she supports so very, very many of us taking the time out to comment on all of our videos. So thank you very much, Dara. You are such a sweetheart and I am very, very appreciative of you taking time out of your your day to pack up such a nice, wonderful gift for me and sharing your stash with me. Thank you so much. The third gift I got was from Terry Berry, Terry, and she her YouTube name I believe is Terry Berry Two. Look at her stamp on the back here, Terry Berry Two. Yes, but um. Look at this tag that she made for me. Isn't it gorgeous? That flower and her fibers are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. You have to experience them in person. But just absolutely beautiful work, Terry. I will treasure this always. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so very, very much. Look at the detail in that. Perfect. I could never wrap that twine around there like that. Love it. Um, another thing I received was from Carlene, and Carlene is the Pink Scrapper 99, and she had um, shown these in one of her videos, and I had offered to buy them from her because I've been working on a teapot mini album since, I hate to say it, but Christmas of 2009. It's uh, nowhere near completed, but I thought these would be perfect. She wouldn't let me pay them, pay her for them. Instead, she gifted me with these. But in the course of that, I found out that Carlene has a blog. She has a boutique on her blog, and she sells all the newest products uh, for dirt cheap. I mean, her prices are wonderful. So um, thank you so much, Carlene. And with every package she sends out, I put those away too but she sends homemade flowers as a thank you gift and um, just fantastic so um, I'll put her YouTube name up there so you can go check out her channel and uh, check out her blog spot some of the other things that I've been up to is I've been going crazy making flowers and um, this one I did using the heat tool and all of these centers, I am so proud. This is what I really wanted to tell you guys. I made all of these centers. And I don't have a lot of stash on the, like, the little tiny primas. I only have what, what little I have is from what people gifted me with. And I love them. But um, 
where I live, they just don't sell them around here. So, um, but anyway, I learned how to make these roses um, from my mother who taught me and um, I just took it down a size or two and I started making little centers. And here's a couple more that I made. And I also really, really love making these flowers here. And I learned that off of Arlene over at my Butterfly Kisses 12. And then I put my little rose center in the middle. And I love it. Here's another one. And this is a crocheted flower out of ribbon. With my little flower in the middle. Here's another one. And here's another crocheted flower. And this is crocheted. I use like the, um, I don't know what this is called, but you can get it in the craft section. Here it is right here. Oops. Oops, sorry about that, guys. It's this stuff here. But the back is made out of that. And then I found this other black stuff. I don't know what it is in my stash. And then I made the little ribbon rose for the center. I liked how it turned out. Here's another one that I made. These are so fun to make. If you haven't made them, you have to try them. And here's another flower. And I have to tape on the floor tonight because my desk is a total mess. This is really neat. When you, get, when you start making these, you wanna try making them with every type of ribbon that you have. You can see I went crazy with them. And these little roses, they are so fun to make. There's another one. And then I checked out Tina's video over at Dream Big Lover to make, uh, and I watched her little tutorial on making these tiny little crochet butterflies. And they are really fun to make. And I think she said she made this pattern up. And um, it is very easy to follow and it's really, really cute. So depending on what you use, it will determine the size. And here's that one. And then this one I did out of ribbon. And it turned out really cute. I really like it. And then here's a black rose that I made. Another one. And then uh, just a lollipop flower, but I really like the material. And several, several videos back, I had bought a skirt at a thrift store. And I, this is the material that I made this flower out of. And then here's just another crocheted flower. And I believe this pattern here is um, from Cat's Creations. And I'll try to type her name up on there so you can go check out her tutorial if you'd like to learn how to make these. And another one and then here's some of the little centers that I've been making but they are so fun and now I'll never be without a center again so anyway ladies I just wanted to share a few things here's some other ones that I have in there those ones over there they're done they're not done yet they're in the works but they still have to be embellished but anyway, ladies, just wanted to stop in and say hello and, and thank Terry, Tamika, Carleen, Dara. Thank you so very much. You guys are so thoughtful for thinking of me. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Take care. Bye.